Welcome to the Rundown with Rita Running Shit. I am your host, and we are about to be getting into some of these hot topics that are out here sweeping these internet streets. So you might as well sit back and relax, and let's come on and get up into this commentary. Bad in fucking school, now I'm trying to dodge the sin. Just walk out the lavish stove, pay a shoe, 1250. Yeah. You want about to be like? News update. Security guard wounded at the shooting outside of Drake's mansion. So you guys already know that Drake and Kendrick Lamar got this backwards and forwards beef going on. So I'm bringing you guys the news. Let's From get Fox, into it. And we do have some breaking news that we want to get to. This is some aerial footage of the house from Drake. This is the rapper Drake right there. This is his house in Toronto. There was a shooting that happened earlier outside Drake's Toronto home and one person was injured in this. According to TMZ, sources confirm the injured person is a member of Drake's security team. Now, police have yet to say if they believe the shooting is related to the Kendrick Lamar feud. Uh, Drake and Kendrick Lamar have been feuding for quite some time, releasing uh, diss tracks uh, against one another. Uh, but again, police have revealed the victim suffered a gunshot wound to the upper chest, and it does appear to have been a drive-by attack. Also, there has been impact across the Atlantic in London, someone reportedly vandalizing Drake's store, spray painting, quote, they not like us on the store's front window, uh, that graffiti inspired by Kendrick Lamar's latest diss track drop, quote, not like us. And just a short time ago, we were hearing from Canadian authorities as they shared the very latest in this shooting, and I do want to play that for you right now. And I'm one of the media relations officers for the Toronto Police Service. Speaking today is Inspector Paul Kravchuk of our Integrated Gun and Gang Task Force, which investigates all shootings and firearm discharges within the city of Toronto. Inspector? Good morning, everyone. I'm Inspector Paul Kravchuk of the Integrated Gun and Gang Task Force, and uh, I'm pleased to be here today. I know there's a lot of interest in this incident, and I hope you can also appreciate that information is very limited at this time, so I only have so much. What I do know, I will advise you of, and I will take a few questions at the end. This morning at about 2 a.m., police were called to a shooting at the residence behind me here. When officers arrived, they located a male who was suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. That male was taken to hospital in serious condition. That person was working, apparently, as a security guard at the residence. He was standing outside of the gates in front of the residence when the shooting occurred. We have uh, individuals who obviously performed the shooting who were seen in a vehicle. I do not have a description of the vehicle or the suspects at this time. Again, it's very early on in the investigation. I cannot speak to a motive at this time because it's so early, but as we get information, we will share it with you. Anyone with information is asked to call 416-808-2510 or Crime Stoppers. You can expect to see an increased presence in this neighborhood for the next little while, but it's no different than any other shooting or firearm discharge. We'll have officers here looking for witnesses to come forward as well as be can canvassing for video. I'll now take a few questions. Was Drake home and is he cooperating with this investigation? I cannot confirm if Drake was home at the time the incident occurred, but I can tell you that we are in contact with his team and they are cooperating. To what extent is the rat beef between Drake and Kendrick Lamar part of the investigation focus? So I am aware of what you're talking about, but uh, it is so early in the investigation that I, we don't have a motive at this time. Well, and so I cannot comment further on that. While there's, the motive may not be confirmed, if that is something that you're looking at, knowing that this beef crosses borders into the U.S., is there anything being done in the investigation to maybe prevent a potential suspect from leaving the So there is, this is no different than any other investigation, okay? Like, 
it's maybe more high profile because there's more people here, but we treat it like any other incident. So we'll be using all our resources. Our teams will be uh, doing as much as they can to investigate this, but it'll be no different than any other investigation at this time. Who was shot still in serious condition? Have you been able to talk to him? Has he not been able to give you a suspect description? And how is there no video yet of the car that fled? So I can tell you that uh, all I'm going to say about the victim is that he's still in the hospital in serious condition. And I'm not going to just. Uh, no, I'm not going to at this time. Uh, this is obviously a, a very well-to-do uh, neighborhood. There's likely a lot of uh, video around. Have you guys begun your canvassing? Do you expect to get a good amount of video involved with this? Uh, I would be surprised if we didn't. Uh, I can say that we've already collected some uh, video evidence, which uh, captures the incident. You said suspects you said plural. Can you say, are we talking two, three, or more? No idea at this time. And would you characterize this as a drive-by shooting, or more specifically, did they stop and open fire? Uh, I'm not going to get into uh, specifics about the investigation at this time, just that it uh, a vehicle was involved and then fled the scene. Uh, that will be part of our investigation, uh, but again, we're very early on. How did the uh, 911 call come in? Who made it? Uh, I don't have that information. Was this security guard alone? Were there other security guards here too? Uh, I don't have that information. Uh, did, in the incident, did it look like the security guard was the target? Were they trying to get past him? Uh, don't know at this time. You said you have video capturing the incident? Yes. The actual shooting? Yes. And you can't give us a description of the vehicle? Nope, not at this time. You don't want to release it? No, because I, I, it's, we're dealing with video quality issues, correct? So we, uh, as we have information and we're able to analyze video better, then we'll be able to provide more information. You mentioned that the, the shooting occurred outside the gates, but there are markers inside near a garage and there's an area cordoned off there. Would, would shell casings have gone that far? Why would that be? I, I haven't even walked up to the scene, so I can't comment. Oh, thank you. Uh, no, uh, no, that's going to be part of the investigation. Can't comment on this time. Thank you very much. Oh, just... ...provided the very latest information after a security guard was shot outside the rapper Drake's house right there. And this is aerial footage of his home in Toronto. You can see it is a very large residence that is being described as an upscale neighborhood. So this is what we know from authorities. The security guard was outside Drake's home, which you see right there in this aerial footage. When that shooting occurred, the shooter was inside a vehicle. That vehicle drove by this house and shot uh, the security guard. The security guard right now is in the hospital in serious condition. Uh, we were hearing reporters asking whether this shooting had anything to do with Drake's feud with rapper Kendrick Lamar. And we heard authorities saying this is very early on in the investigation. And at this point in time, they do not have a motive. Uh, but you heard from the authority right there that there will be an increased police presence in this neighborhood. He did stress that there is no difference from other shootings. He also said he cannot confirm if Drake was actually home at this time. Again, this is Drake's home in Toronto. Uh, he did say, though, that there is video evidence that captured the shooting. He did not elaborate as to exactly uh, what that video showed. And he also said that they don't have any information about who called 911. So again, we are following some breaking news after a security guard outside Drake's Toronto house was shot now in the hospital in critical condition. It is unclear whether this shooting had anything to do with Drake's ongoing feud with fellow singer and rapper Kendrick Lamar. And again, these are aerial shots of Drake's Toronto mansion right there. Of course, as soon as we get any new information, we will share that with you here on Live Now from 
Drake's mansion here in Toronto's Bridal Path neighborhood at around 2 o'clock this morning. Police say that a man who was working as a security guard at the residence was struck and taken to hospital in serious condition. Now, there were several orange evidence markers leading up to the front gate of the residence. That's where police say the victim was standing. He was standing outside the front gate when an unknown number of suspects approached in a vehicle and opened fire. Now, police would not say if Drake was home at the time the gunfire erupted, but they have been in touch with members of his team and say they are cooperating. Of note, Toronto police would also not confirm whether this was a drive-by shooting and whether the suspects got out of the vehicle when the shots were fired or if they remained inside the vehicle. That person was working, apparently, as a security guard at the residence. He was standing outside of the gates in front of the residence when the shooting occurred. Young, you better not ever go to sell black one. A third rapper, J. Cole, was involved as well, but bowed out as the threats escalated. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world wanna see blood. Even Saturday Night Live is paying attention. When Kendrick describes Drake as Canadian, that's because Drake is from Toronto. Oh. Drake in Toronto. It comes in the middle of a rap battle between the famous Canadian and his American rap rival. They've been trading tracks, trashing each other for years. And the cover art of Lamar Kendrick's most recent diss showed a map of Drake's Toronto property. CTV's Raheem Ladani shows us, joins us from the scene with more on that. Raheem. Morella, police are not saying if Drake was actually inside the home at the time of the shooting. However, there is plenty of speculation as to why he could be a target. You can see police tape strung across the courtyard of this multi-million dollar mansion in Toronto's Bridal Path neighborhood. The home belonging to Canadian rapper Drake, now a crime scene in a police investigation. I cannot confirm if Drake was home at the time the incident occurred, but I can tell you that we are in contact with his team and they are cooperating. Officers were called for reports of a shooting just after 2 Tuesday morning in the area of Park Lane Circle and Post Road. If you ever uh, had the opportunity to drive past Drake's residence, you'll notice that there are gates and there are walls and there is uh, sort of strategically placed trees, etc. to provide security. And there are also uniformed security guards at the residence. A man who is not Drake was found at the scene suffering from serious but non-life-threatening injuries and he was taken to hospital. That person was working, apparently, as a security guard at the residence. He was standing outside of the gates in front of the residence when the shooting occurred. The shooting comes in the wake of an escalating rap feud between Drake and fellow artist Kendrick Lamar. While their rival relationship dates back years, it resurfaced last October in the form of a diss track. That continued this March and escalated over the weekend, with both rappers making serious unsubstantiated claims about the other. They'll be scouring all the online postings to see if anybody made uh, any untoward or violent threats towards Drake or anybody that works for Drake or his residents. These are the things that they'll be looking at. Came out and who came out in the order? Family Matters drops, uh, which is uh, a song by Drake. Uh, Meet the Grams comes out 30 minutes later, which is a song by Kendrick. Then later on that afternoon on Saturday around 7 p.m., Not Like Us comes out by Kendrick. So Kendrick doubles down. So within 36 hours, Kendrick dropped three diss records <laughs> against Drake. Drake came out yesterday evening with the heart part six, uh, to which was... So we are going to stay tuned into this Kendrick and Drake whole fiasco that's going on. It's a shame that pretty much they trying to make this into this whole full-blown beef. Myself, personally, my opinion, I don't think that Kendrick Lamar would be that stupid to get Drake House shot up. I think that this stuff is just all for the records, but stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And baby, I am out of here. Peace.